I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House NYC. This week from Aspen to San Francisco, Illinois to the Southern Caribbean, we explore homes that will surprise, inspire and delight. We're in Aspen to explore an ultra-modern ode to a Swiss chalet. Plus we visit the colorful island of Curacao for a look at this seaside stunner. But first, Versailles on the bay. This home will take your breath away. Welcome to Le Petit Trianon, truly one of San Francisco's most iconic mansions. Welcome to Open House NYC. From the Rocky Mountains to the city by the bay and even a special trip to a Caribbean dream home, this week we are visiting properties that will take your breath away. So it's fitting that right now I'm coming to you from this stately Georgian style manor in Greenwich, Connecticut. The dramatic tree-lined approach sets the tone as the bustle of the city quickly falls away. The handsome facade hints at the beautifully manicured three and a half acres on which it sits. As you step inside, a double height foyer greets you and all throughout you notice the beautifully appointed detail like custom moldings, paneling and exquisite fireplaces. Yet the home feels bright and fresh with huge windows and walls of glass that frame lush views. This inviting property is perfect for entertaining all year round, from pool or tennis parties in the summer to cozy cocktails by the fire in the winter. And this modern chef's kitchen is ideal for whipping up something delicious for all your guests. At the end of the day, the master suite is a luxurious retreat with its very own terrace overlooking the bucolic grounds. It's one of six bedrooms in this well over 10,600 square foot masterpiece. Now we take a trip out to San Francisco for an impressive home inspired by none other than Versailles. Built in the early 1900s, this property is one of the city's most recognizable and in fact has been designated a National Historical Landmark. And even if you don't leave your heart in San Francisco, this home will definitely steal it. See why. Hello, I'm Joel Goodrich with Colwell Banker Global Luxury, and welcome to Le Petit Trianon, truly one of San Francisco's most iconic mansions. I can't wait to show you inside. It has been decorated by some of the top designers in the world, so welcome. This is the spectacular three-story atrium of Le Petit Trianon. This is an incredible space in which to entertain hundreds of people. We have the extraordinary Dantel molding, the original marble floors, stained glass. This is the kind of luxury and architectural history that you rarely see today. Welcome to one of the most extraordinary rooms anywhere. Originally inspired by the Hall of Mirrors at Versailles, this ballroom has been transformed into an ultra-modern, super-chic nightclub, while keeping all of the incredible three-dimensional moldings. You'll also notice as you walk around this extraordinary space, a three-dimensional Marie Antoinette and the ghost of Madame de Pompadour. Approximately the size of the tennis court, this is one of the largest private entertaining spaces in San Francisco. And welcome to the Grand Salon of Le Petit Trianon. While maintaining all the extraordinary original architectural details, such as Corinthian columns and beam ceilings, it has been reimagined for the 21st century with beautiful mid-century decor. And it's flooded with light from the French style windows overlooking the gardens and the surrounding park-like greenery. And now we're gonna see a space that's just a little more intimate. This is truly an extraordinarily rare and unique property with incredible architectural detailing and history. And here we can see prime examples in this intimate library, such as the carved marble fireplace, the Corinthian columns and paneling. And you'll notice these smoky acrylic modern mirrors are an incredible juxtaposition to the original architecture. And you'll see that this very fun, whimsical interplay of old and no continues in the next space we're going to be going into. One of the most important elements of this home is this incredible three-story marble staircase surrounded by a beautifully oxidized copper balustrade and embellished with these extraordinary stained glass windows and baccarat chandeliers. You'll see as we go to the top, there's even an indoor garden around the central atrium. 
And here we are in the opulent and beautiful second floor drawing room, which was inspired by Hutton Hall, one of the most important country estates in England. You'll also notice some amazing details, such as the giant marble surround around the fireplace, the beam ceilings, and the beautiful royal blue sitting room. And as you look out the windows, you have incredible views of the Presidio Park in San Francisco Bay. In fact, it's kind of like being in the French countryside. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of one of the most extraordinary private residences in the world. There is so much more to see on Open House NYC. Welcome to Curacao. Here we have beautiful beaches and lovely homes. Why should I tell you when I can show you? Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Now we're on the Caribbean island of Curacao. It's known for its crystal clear waters, beautiful landscape, diverse culture, and the unique colors of their capital city. It also just happens to have impressive homes. Perched high overlooking the sea to take full advantage of the trade winds, this spectacular property was built for seamless indoor-outdoor living. Take a look. I'm Sharon Anthony with Coldwell Banker Real Estate Curacao. Bon menina Curacao, welcome to Curacao. Here we have beautiful beaches, spectacular landscapes, activities for young and old, a diverse community, and lovely homes. And I can't wait to show you this fabulous home now. This colonial inspired home has tropical touches that you notice as soon you enter the foyer. It has over 8,000 square feet, four bedrooms spread over two floors, and has one of the best view in the world. Why should I tell you when I can show you? I mean, look at this, bonita. Curacao has the bluest, cleanest water in the world, and it's right outside. And this entire home is built to take advantage of that. The great room has an open floor plan. It includes a casual sitting area, a formal living area, though nothing in the Caribbean is too formal, and a chef's kitchen. And natural materials are everywhere, from the wood bean ceiling to the stone tile floor. The living area is the perfect place to gather friends and family and situated to take advantage of this cool tropical breeze. And with the breeze so nice, you will need more than an open window. So this entire wall disappears for easy access to paradise. The kitchen has top of the line appliances, granite countertops, and with a bar looking over the deck, you can serve your guests inside and out. And out is where we are heading next. I get to see this view all the time, but it still blows me away. Here you can enjoy a delicious meal, get a little sun, and take a swim in this stunning infinity pool. Or just recline, relax, and listen to the waves. And this is what this home is all about and why living in the Caribbean is so special. So let me show you the master bedroom. This generous size corner master suite is private and has both an island and ocean view. Again, they are natural material all throughout in the window treatments and ceiling detail. And the master bed has a unique soaking tub and a dual vanities. And I have one more place to show you. The second master bedroom is my favorite room in this house. It has an underwater window that looks into the infinity pool, both in the bedroom and the bathroom. But if you prefer a view to the ocean, it has that too. Thank you for coming on this tour of this beautiful home. See you soon in Curacao. Goodbye, ayo. 
Oh, imagine taking a dip in that crystal clear water every day. Talk about an endless summer. Well, coming up next, we meet two of the rising stars of real estate. That and so much more when we come right back. You're watching Open House NYC. To be successful in real estate takes talent, patience, and the ability to connect with people. Now we're recognizing two real estate professionals who have already mastered those attributes and more. They're part of Coldwell Banker's prestigious annual list, 30 Under 30. These are two of the rising stars of real estate who understand that it isn't just about buying and selling. It's about building communities by matching clients with their dream homes. My name is Jamie Cronin with Cobalt Bank of the Real Estate Group. Welcome to Lockport, Illinois. And I'm Quadir Klein. I'm a real estate agent with Caldwell Banker, and welcome to Upper Saddle River, New Jersey. I feel like I've grown up within the Cobalt Banker office, and my mom recognized how much I truly loved the industry. I quickly became a receptionist right out of high school for Cobalt Banker. Growing up in a military family, I lived all across America in tons of different homes, and I was always so intrigued by the architecture. One day, I saw an ad for a real estate school. I took the class, and I haven't looked back since. Very early on in my career, I knew that I wanted more, and Caldwell Banker was the obvious choice. Caldwell Banker offered tons of training, cutting-edge technology, and of course, the globally recognized name. Let's be honest. Success in real estate is about selling properties. But for me as a manager, it's about making sure that the people that I work with feel good about what they're doing. And as a broker, it's about making sure that all of my clients have a positive experience. Success is more than wealth or fame. It's accomplishing something that you set out to do. And for me, that's being an amazing real estate agent. Cobalt Bankers 30 Under 30 is the brand's way of recognizing young professionals who have already made a mark in the industry. I'm being recognized for my accomplishments, but at the same time, it makes me want to work even harder because I'm setting an example for the next generation of young real estate professionals. My age gives me a unique perspective because I'm old enough to appreciate the value of traditional marketing, but I am young enough to be immersed in the digital world. Younger clients are more inclined to work with me because I speak their language. I know their problems, I'm able to solve their challenges and make the process a lot less intimidating. A good real estate agent is someone who loves what they do. Someone who's ambitious and knows that their job is to make sure their clients love their new home. When you help your client find a new home, you're not just selling them a house, you're welcoming them into your community. What I love most about the real estate business is that it's so fast paced. Every day is ever changing and one day is never like the day before. But most importantly, I get to meet tons of awesome people and build not only long-term business relationships, but lifelong friendships as well. Having a mentor in real estate is so important. The real estate business as a whole is very intense. So having people like managers and other sales associates that support you can really help you further your business. The good mentor is someone who is open, patient, and sets a good example. And I had the best possible mentor, my mom. I'm 25 years old and I'm already a managing broker. I really believe that that speaks to how Cobalt Banker encourages young professionals and gives them all the tools they need to succeed. Caldwell Banker has helped me achieve my goals by offering cutting edge technology, world-class training, and unparalleled career support. My advice to someone considering a career in real estate is to treat every client like family and never stop learning. Dive in and just be prepared for whatever life may throw at you. To see if a career in real estate is right for you, just head to coldwellbanker.com slash careers. Coming up just after the break, we take a trip to Aspen, Colorado for a look at this modern ode to a Swiss chalet. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we're in Aspen for a look at a modern reimagining of a Swiss chalet. This home is the epitome of alpine living. Dubbed the Thai Hack House, it's been thoughtfully designed as an entertainer's dream. This nearly 13,700 square foot property embraces the year-round Colorado lifestyle. Let's take a look. Aspen, Colorado, the one and only. Hi, I'm Bob Bowden. I'm with Coldwell Banker but I'm also the designer and developer of this home. It's a 14,000 square foot home with eight bedrooms. It is a large home, but cozy and intimate. I'm very excited to show it to you, so come on in, let's take a look. As you walk into the home, the first thing you'll notice is that this is a grand, great room. 
This is the heart of this home, where you can feature something like a formal living room, our nice seating area, a 12, 10, eight person dining room table. Behind us, we have a kitchen that can accommodate two or three at the island, five or six at the banquette, or up to 24 when you're having a big party. This one level really becomes the core, the heartbeat of the house, big but still intimate with all these moments that you can enjoy with your friends and your family. And when you're done entertaining, the master is really only steps away. It's an exciting room, come with me. My inspiration for this room was a cabin in the woods. This room personifies the contrast that also underlies most of my design. We have a custom entire bed headboard sitting in front of raw wire brushed wood. That contrast is intriguing and very compelling. We have French design chandelier just for this home. And what would a bedroom be without a bathroom? And of course, a two person shower and steam. This has just been one floor of this exciting home. Let's now go down to our game room. Now we're down to the game level. This is really interesting. We've created four different rooms by using different ceiling heights and they define each section of the house. So now when you're in the billiard room, you feel like you're in the billiard room, but there are no walls. We have our Rat Pack bar. I can imagine Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis sitting by that shuffleboard room. And we have a Zen garden and the Zen garden allows us to open to a waterfall, light, sun, the airflow. We're now in the media room. There's a 12 screen, all 4K digital flat screen TV, 1500 bottle wine room, and finally, your own private spa. What home would be complete, at least in Aspen, without a professional spa, a massage room, and a hot tub? No longer do you have to go to the club or to a hotel. You can stay in the comfort of your own home. I would be remiss if I didn't talk though about the outside. We're on the back deck right now. The first thing you'll notice is that behind me is the 11th tee box to the exclusive Maroon Creek Golf and Country Club. This is the only private golf club in Aspen, Colorado. We have about 2,500 square feet of outside decks. They're all heated, but really the breathtaking views tell the story. You're in the center of the Rocky Mountains. You're in the center of ski country and you can feel it and you can live it. Thank you so much for our tour in the Thai Hack House with me. Truly one of a kind. If you're ever in Aspen, come and tour the Thai Hack House. I look forward to seeing you. Stick around. Up next, what happens when one of the world's most trusted and recognizable brands decides to change things up? See what I mean in just a few. You're watching Open House NYC. Now we join Chief Marketing Officer David Marine as he unveils a bold new initiative that will transform how we see the company, all while maintaining Coldwell Banker's commitment to integrity, excellence, and of course, guiding you home. Hi, I'm David Marine, Chief Marketing Officer for Coldwell Banker. As CMO for Coldwell Banker Real Estate, I oversee all the marketing efforts for the brand, across the country. I've been with Cold Banker for over 17 years and a lot has changed over that period of time. But one thing that hasn't is that I continue to be asked the same question. What are we gonna do about that logo? And now we thought it was time for us to do something about it based on the way that things are changing both in the digital space as well as making sure that we are staying relevant and putting our best foot forward for our agents and of course, our customers. Our outward image wasn't really representing the savviness of our agents and the contemporary thinking behind our brand that has led to new tech platforms and our leadership in the luxury space. So when we started down this road to rebrand, we called this project Project North Star. The North Star as a symbol is something that is core to our brand. For hundreds if not thousands of years has been used by pioneers, sailors, explorers to find their way home. And that is something that is at the core of what Cole Banker does every single day, guide people home. So what does this all mean for buyers and sellers? Well, one thing is that you can still expect the same level of excellent service that you've always known from a coal banker agent in office. But what you'll get, especially as sellers, is a brand new look with great new marketing materials that will make your home stand out like no one else. 
Our new North Star logo took some elements from our old logo and just enhanced it for today. It has a fresh new font, new feel, and is something that works across any space, whether it be digital, traditional, on the outside of a building, and of course, on a yard sign. We tested it in four beta markets across the country. I'm actually standing in one of our beta market offices right now in Madison, New Jersey. The response from our agents and customers has been fantastic. They found it to be more sophisticated, more modern, more innovative than our look has ever been before. So does the real estate brand that an agent is with really matter? My answer is the real estate brand only matters if the brand matters. And Coldwell Banker is a brand that has mattered for over 113 years. A brand can help and should support an agent's business and complement what they do with unique offerings, like what we have with our global network of 92,000 agents in 40 plus countries. We plan to roll out this new look in 2020, but you may see some things starting to pop up towards the end of this year. To join us on this journey and see some amazing properties along the way, follow at Coldwell Banker on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?